You all had a motive. But where and when was Mr. Body killed? Don't you see? Look, we came back from the study with a vet. Mr. Body was on the floor, <coughs> pretending to be dead. But one of us knows he's alive. Ah! So, I explained that I was Mr. Body's butler and I'd invited you here, and we realized there was only one other person in the house. <laughs> Well, where is he? <laughs> By now, she was dead. We laid her down with our backs to the freezer. One of us slipped through the same secret passage. Again? Of course, back to the study. The murderer was in the secret passage. Meanwhile, Mr. Body oh. been on the floor. He jumped up. <laughs> the murderer came out of the secret panel, picked up the candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Body followed us out of the study into the hall looking for an escape. The murderer crept back behind him and killed him. Ah! Will you stop that? No. Then he threw him into the toilet. And nonchalantly rejoined us beside the cook's body in the kitchen. It took less than half a minute. So who wasn't there the entire time in the kitchen? Whoever it was is the murderer. And we put the weapons in the cupboard, locked it, and ran to the front door. Ha <laughs> ha! The key! A motorist! I didn't throw the key away. I put it in my pocket. And someone could have taken it out of my pocket and substituted another. We were all in a huddle. Any one of us could have done that. Precisely. 